Hey everybody, welcome back. We are on the 93 Chevy Blazer. Uh, gotta, gotta love it. We've got, uh, wouldn't you know it? Service engine soon light. Um, what you're gonna need to find is a flashlight, probably. All right, now that I got everything set up, what you're gonna need is a little jumper wire, and you're gonna need to locate this right here. Sorry if I block it, there's light, not a lot in here. Cloudy, crappy day in here. So uh, what you've got on this far side over here, top, uh, there we go. Top right there, they call that uh, ground. Next one, right next to it, diagnostic test terminal. Uh, I believe this is like an AIR if used. And then I think you've got uh, serial data, traction control if used. Um, and I believe G down here is the fuel pump and then the brake sensor right there on H. What we're concerned with is A and B. So what you'll need to do, stick your wires in and create a jumper from this front one right here. Sorry, it's hard to film, look and do everything here to here. And uh, let me get that to that point now. Okay, I have my jumper wire in those two. Make sure it doesn't go into others. Not sure what that would do, but you don't want to find out. So put it in those two. And isn't it great that this new to me blazer just had that. Now what you want to do is turn the key to the on position. Do not start it. So if you have to, it's going to be annoying. What you're looking for is the trouble code, and it should do trouble code 12. What that means is, you see it flash? One, one, two. So the code is going to consist of one flash followed by two short uh, flashes. Uh, there's going to be a pause in between. Should do three of those. Once it does that, then you're going to need to uh, wait just a second and it will do. So there's three. One, two, three, four, five. So I have a code, air code. 35 got to turn the music off that's great um, so I have air code 35 let me light this dash up and you can see it that actually makes it worse so it'll do that three times it'll go back to 12 um, uh, the 12 code will continue to show itself until you remove the jumper wire um, in this case I just have one code uh, you could come up with something that's just a little bit different um, 12 shows it's in diagnostic mode. You got 13's an oxygen sensor circuit, 14's cooler se coolant sensor circuit. Let's jump down to what I have. I have an idle control issue. Code 35 will set if the ECM detects an idle speed above or below the desired idle speed. I've noticed this has been idling high, meaning mine's probably letting in too much air at idle. Um, you could do lean exhaust, rich exhaust, system voltage high, fuel pump, uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, what you want to do is once you get that code, you will definitely want to Google it and pull it up. But it is nice that this has some uh, capability for troubleshooting. So there's three, one, two, three, four, five. So the nice thing about it is, I got the part right here. I've got my idle air intake. This should go in, this should fix it. So now what you want to do, take the key out, come down here, carefully pull your jumper wire out. I just throw it on the ground because that's how I roll. And we will get under the hood and fix it. So this is a new to me blazer. I had drove it home, oh geez, it's multiple hours, two to three hours, drove it home, had no issues got home, had a check engine light come on really quickly, but it was related to the battery, fixed the battery problem because they had an adapter on an adapter on a ground cutoff, just a stupid mess. I'm not sure who decided to do that, but I removed all that, got new ground cables, it's fixed it. But then after I filmed the re release video on this bad boy, uh, wouldn't you know it, I had the light come on and my issue was I, I could idle. What if I push the gas, it just, just powered down and would struggle to run. It wants to shut off. Actually, sounded like it shut off and then would kick on. So I idled all the way home, which was a real treat. And now here we are. 
we've got our new part going to go in. This goes in by the throttle body. You're going to have to probably remove the air cleaner. Well, you don't, maybe you don't have to, but if you have the standard air cleaner, you will need to remove that. So uh, just kind of uh, showing you a little bit about what my first problem was. This over here, they had changed it to an actual post out kind of garbage. Uh, the idle air, it's this, oh my gosh, there's no light. Let me grab that light. I mean, you can see this is very well lit. This shop is amazing. It's so well lit, but it just does not work here. Um, what we're going to be replacing is that right there, meaning we probably would do best if we pulled that off. Uh, you want to undo your connection, make sure you don't break it when you do that, and then get a nice wrench on this part right here and twist it out. Let me go ahead and show you the new part. They should come with a gasket and everything. So here it is, doing all this one-handed. That's where your sensor goes in. Make sure you keep that the right way. Let's pull it out here in the light. You've got your little gasket there, and then these threads. Just wants to focus on my hand. Let's put it back on the seat here. And these threads already have a little bit of stuff on them to help seal it. Uh, boy, this is terrible. Sorry guys, the camera just does not want to play ball today. But that is the new part. We will get it put in. You can see another upgrade right there for a future video. Driving this thing at night is a real treat. But we've had to fix a few things. This will not be a tough one. Remove those two nuts, lift off, undo the clip, take it off, put your new one on. You don't need to go too crazy. Once it's tight, it will seal. And uh, plug back in and uh, more miles, more happy miles driving, hopefully. Um, to reset it though, you're gonna want it to undo the battery for at least 30 seconds. I'd probably pull it off for a few minutes, but you're definitely gonna wanna undo the battery and knock that thing out, get it all switched out, get the code cleared, and then drive down the road. So I think what was happening a lot on mine, initially they had a disconnect here. I don't even know where I put it. I think it's over here in the back of this lovely Raptor. You can see this is just not ideal. Here's your disconnect. They would disconnect it, which would reset the battery. And it would take it a while for the code to be learned. So I didn't get this light until this got taken off so they probably just band-aided the problem and that's why my truck dealt with a high idle for so long but i'm gonna get this fixed get this back on the road <coughs> sorry it's cold we got some stuff coming for that for that that needs to get out and drive if we can ever have a weekend with no rain i don't even know what i want to say on the dodge but we'll get this blazer back on the road thank you for watching we'll see you on the next one